As the sports world continues to be impacted by the coronavirus pandemic, several athletes here in America and abroad are dealing with the ramifications, including Pooh Jetter, who joins us now here on SportsCenter. L.A. native, played his college ball at Portland, spent some time with the Kings, but has been in China over the last several years. And who, of course, China's been in the news as it relates to the beginning of this particular virus. You were there in January when it really started to hit and impacted you and your family. What was it like when you first started to find out about this virus and what it was going to do to you and your family over the next several weeks? Oh, wow. Um, uh, that's something I'll never forget. I remember playing against, it was January 21st, and that morning practice, uh, for some reason, of our um, our team gave us face masks. It was like, yo, make sure you put these face masks on. I'm like, Oh, okay. All right. Um, so we go through shoot around, come back to the hotel, play the game, and um, start getting the reports a little more about what's going on. And Monday we had our meeting, and in this meeting, Ricky, uh, she broke it down to the to us the whole situation. Like, yo, this is what's going on. The season will be postponed for a little bit, and this and that. So um, she took me to the side, her and uh, and Coach Kessler took me to the side. Like, yo. Um, I think it's best for you and your family to, to go back to L.A. So in a very short period of time, you learn about the coronavirus, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, you're on a plane going home. Was there What was going through your mind in terms of when you were going home, in terms of was it fear? Was it angst? Was it uh, regret, happiness? What were you feeling on the way home? So on the way home, I was just happy that, you know, um, our team was allowed to get, the, get that flight for us because, you know, that flight was booked. I'm talking to my bros. I'm talking to CP, Chris Paul. I'm talking to Trevor, Montrez from the Clippers, the line right. And I'm telling them, like, yo, fellas, like, I know how much, uh, like, other fans in, in China love you guys. It will be great if you put Pray for Wuhan on your shoes because now, you know, like, people are going uh, bananas out there in China by everything. And then not that long after you got back, a few weeks, the NBA ended up shutting down its league over coronavirus concerns, but now you are back in China as they're about to resume their schedule here in a couple of weeks. What led to your decision to return to China based on the reason why you left in the first place? So the reports, you know, I've been in China for the last like, eight years now, so my reports that I was getting back from people on ground um, in China was, you know, like everything is getting back to normal. We're hearing, like, you know, the news back home in the States, like, you know, it's like putting that fear in a lot about and uh, everybody. Like everybody's starting to fear because of what's what's on the news. Like my grandma probably watching this right now. She don't even know I'm here because my grandma Lula's ninety years old, ninety plus, I should say. And and when I was back home, she was like, "Yo, like, please don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back." And I'm like, "Yo, like, I said I gotta get back to work. I'm under contract. So, um, so sorry, grandma, if you're watching this." As this virus has made its way around the world and become a pandemic, we've seen video from several countries in terms of how their local governments are dealing with it. What was it like for you when you returned to China after being in the U.S.? As I, as I got into the car, everything is plastic. Like, everything. Like, from the, from, I'm in the back seat, so and looking into the driver's area, like, plastic, like, everything is, like, making sure that, you know, like, protection. Why? So I was like, uh, that was kind of um, just like like a weird situation. Is there? As soon as I got into my ho hotel room, uh, I'm going to the hotel, same uh, process, this and that, and now I'm what five days in in quarantine. And like when I tell you, I haven't, I can't see nobody. Um, I'm thankful that I'm able to, you know, receive you know three meals a day. Quite the ordeal, to say the least, uh, Pooh. We appreciate the time. Stay safe and make the best of you can in terms of that quarantine. And hopefully when the season resumes, things will get back to a little bit of normal. Pooh Jetter joining us here on SportsCenter. Thanks, brother.